the joy of the Lord is my strength. The Lord is my strength. I want to give you 15 verses today that I'd like for you to write down. We'll look at each of them, and then we'll be done. And I'm just going to try to drive home the truth today that the Lord is my strength. We already read Psalm 27, 1. Let's look at Exodus chapter 15. Exodus chapter 15. We're going to turn to each of these. I would love for you to write these references down. Maybe look at them later. Maybe even write the verses out if that would help you. Several weeks ago, in June I think it was, I gave a Bible study on a Wednesday night where I read 55 verses that told us names of Christ. I don't think I read the verses. I gave the name of Christ that was in that verse and I gave the reference. And a super diligent person went home and looked up all of those Bible references and wrote out all 55 of those verses. I don't have any earthly idea how long that took them. They can probably tell me if I ask them. But the point is, is they went home and they did some work on their own. Well, I'm going to give you these verses and we're going to turn to them and read them. Now, if these verses encourage you at all, and I hope they will, it's just the Word of God, y'all, you can go home and look the verses up again. Maybe you're in your own house. Uh, how's she going to do it? Quiet time. She knows who holds tomorrow. And the Lord is the strength of my life. That's how she's going to make it through. Our strength in and of ourselves will fail us every single time. Somebody asked me several weeks ago, um, well, Brother Kiva, what are you going to do? You've got to preach three sermons a week now. You, you used to preach one, and it was a little sissy Bible study that you usually put together. I'm just being honest with you. Uh, I, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know how to run a school. Thank God I have people to help me. But I have Him to help me. I don't know how to do a lot of things that I have to do. But you know what I do know? I know that the Lord is the strength of my life. I don't have to be afraid of any of those things. My parents keep calling me. What are you going to do, son? But I, I don't know, Dad. I'm just going to go to work tomorrow and do what i got to do. Well, how are you going to? I don't know how. I do know how. Right here. The Lord is the strength of my life. I don't have to be afraid of a bill collector. Joe and I went to see a guy on Thursday morning that this church owes money to. And you know what? We went to see him. And we said, this is where we're at. This is what we're going to do. And he said, hey, that's, a, that's great. <coughs> Maybe when you can. But that one thing. And uh, you know, it, you don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be afraid to deal with the things that you have to deal with if you know that the Lord is your strength. So today, the whole point of my message, Brother Keeper, what's your point? My whole point is that the, the Lord is our strength. Let's look at Exodus chapter 15. Exodus chapter 15 and verse number 2. The Lord is my strength and song, and He has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will prepare Him and habitation. My Father's God, and I will exalt Him. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. He is my God. I don't know about y'all, but that's a good verse. The Lord is my strength and my song. Britney Spears is not my song. I don't give a rip about Britney Spears. Okay? Uh, Motley Crue is not my song. Now we're going way back. For some of y'all. Okay? I don't know who's popping. Avril Lavigne is not my song. The Lord is my song. Metallica is not my song. The Lord is my song. You know what I had to start singing when I was a teenager? When I put away childish things and I threw away poison and rat and all of that nonsense. Some of y'all have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Some of the music I had to put away and I had to put away childish things. The Bible says when I was a child, I thought like a child. Or I should say, when I was a child, I listened to childish music. But when I became a man, I became a man. And I put away those childish things. And I had to start singing. I sing a new song. Since Jesus came, I serve a new master. I wear a new name. I walk a new road. Have a new goal. Since Jesus came, down deep in my soul. Now, folks, I'm a man just like the rest of y'all are. Well, some of y'all are a man. But I'm a human being just like the rest of you are. And I like that. I have flesh just like the rest of you do. But at some point, uh, I had to stop 
letting Satan and his crowd entertain me and stop listening to Satan's praise and worship music and I had to start singing praise and worship music to him. I sing a new song since Jesus came down deep in my soul. Brother Keeper, I like rock and roll. I do too. My flesh does. That's why I have to put away that stuff. The Bible says that uh, we, we do the, 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 the flesh is weak. So we have to live in the spirit. You'll forgive me for trying to preach a message about rock music when I started preaching a message about the joy of the Lord is my strength. But when I read that verse, I just thought about that. The Lord is my strength and He is my song. What did the rock and roll star ever do for you? Nothing. And many of us follow people who have not done one single solid thing for you. Young people, you forget about what your mom and dad did for you. And you want to worry about your friends. Your friends ain't never done nothing for you. That rock and roll crowd ain't never done nothing for you. I'm starting to preach a whole other sermon. I think somebody's giving me the, the evil line because I'm preaching a sermon that they heard on a tape once. Anyways, let's move on. That was number one. Exodus 15, 2. Number two, 2 Samuel chapter 22. Too many twos here. You may not have picked up on it earlier in the service, but I like singing sometimes. Eric, you got my water? Can I have it? Please, thank you. <coughs> I told you not to bring it up here while she was singing, and I forgot to get it. Thanks, God. Sometimes I like singing a little bit too much, and I strain my voice, and then when it's preaching time, I got a gas left in the tank. So, give me a second. Here we go. Good for another half hour more preaching. Number two, 2 Samuel chapter 22. I'm sorry, everybody. I, I had no intentions on talking about your favorite music stars this morning, but sometimes the Holy Spirit just slips those little things in. Remember what I said last week or two weeks ago? I hate sin. I hate it bad. I hate sin. It makes me mad. It's wrong. It's wicked. When it comes around, I'll kick it. I hate sin. Before I love God. We used to change the words up a little bit. I hate rock music. I hate it bad. I hate rock music. It makes me mad. It is wrong. It is wicked. To come. You know what I mean? We would put a little other little words to the song in there. I hate drinking. I hate it bad. I hate smoking. I hate it bad. It makes me mad. When it comes around, I'll kick it. I'm just saying. Number two. 2 Samuel 22, verse number 23. 33. Verse 33. 2 Samuel 22, 33. God is my strength and power. And he maketh my way perfect. God is my strength and he is my power. Brother Hebrew, I don't have the power within me to do right. No, you don't. God is your power. I don't have the power to meet my family's needs. I don't have the power to meet the, the bills and the needs. And I don't have the power to stop doing what I'm doing that I ought not be doing. No, you don't. I don't either. But God is my strength and my power. Brother Hebrew, I can't do right. My flesh is too strong. I can't do right. I don't have the power over sin. No, none of us have power over sin. But Christ defeated sin on the cross, and He is your power. <coughs> God is my strength and my power. Brother Keeper, how in the world can I do what I'm supposed to do and not do the things that I'm not supposed to do? I'm so weak. So am I. So am I. The Frazier would tell you how weak I am. Remember, 11.30 last night. Two of us praying, and I couldn't even stay away from them. I felt so bad. I was so weak. We're all weak, folks. We're all weak. But God is our power. God is our power. The Lord is my strength. Number three, Psalm. Psalm 18. 